Hey, Zoe here. Today I'm going to do my team project pain update and I will leave the links down below from where this um, project came from. So I got this idea from the girls from Beauty News, um, Hayley and Kirsten. And um, it's a year long rolling project pain and we're nearly at the end of it because we're in December now. So this is my November update. So I've only got one month to go. And um, we'll see how we went. Hang on. So, I'll just go through all the products, shall I? So, my first thing on my list, that's my, my list, because that's the only way I can keep organised, is my Coco Kami Body Shop Facial Spray, which I use um, every day before I put my foundation on. And we were up to here. And now we're up to here. So I seem to use about the same amount each month, which means I probably use it about the same each month. So this one I used 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 times this month. And the little wee tiny primer, which I thought I'd probably finish in a month, but I haven't finished because um, I didn't use it very much this month. I only used it. 5, 10, 11 times this month because um, it just wasn't really doing it for me. <laughs> it wasn't doing a lot, I didn't think. It wasn't that moisturising and I ended up switching back to using my e.l.f. hydrating one because I just didn't really like this one this much. So I will finish this off. So I'm going to try and use it next month and try and finish it off. But I won't purchase it. And the reason why I only bought a little one was because I wanted to see if I liked it enough to purchase it. But I... I don't, but it, I don't think it does a lot. <laughs> my foundation, my Thin Lizzy foundation. Now, when I put this in the project, I hadn't used it very much, so it was it was basically full, so there was no mark on it. So I haven't used it as much as I could have because I've been trying out some other foundations as well. So I've used this 5, 10, 15, 18 times this month, so I can actually see through this bottle, and it's way down to here. So this is actually going down pretty fast. I'm not sure how happy I am about how fast that's going down. Because it wasn't that cheap, that foundation. For me. <laughs> For me it wasn't that cheap. Concealer. <laughs> Have I used up these concealers yet? No. They're still going. I am scraping the bottom a bit. But I haven't had to cut it open or anything, and I'm not going to, because um, my experience with cutting stuff like this open is that um, even if you put it in a plastic bag or whatever, it, it changes the formula. It gets thicker and thicker, and I can't handle anything thick under my eyes. So um, <laughs> I used... Which one is this one? It's the light ivory one. So the porcelain one, which is the lighter one. I used 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 26 times this month. And there's still stuff coming out. So when I... Like you, you press it and you think there's nothing there, but if you roll it up, you can still get product out. Look, see? I can still get it out. So it's, it's still going. <laughs> and the same with this one. This one is a little bit more empty. So this is the darker one that I use on, on the face rather than just under my eyes. And I use this 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So I use this one less than the other one for some reason or another. And um, this one I have to squeeze a bit harder to get out, but I'm still getting a bit out, so um, it's still going. So I'm going to predict again that by the end of December, <laughs> I'm going to finish these. Uh, I can't believe how long they have lasted. That's amazing. So my Maybelline Fit Me Set and Smooth Powder. Got some good looking pan on there now. And here's what it looked like last month. And I used that 5, 10, 15, 20, 21 times this month. My Covergirl spray still feels pretty full actually. Yeah, I can look in it. Wait. I can look in it to see where it's up to. You're not going to be able to see this because it's a black label. 
So I would say it's down to about here. Through my fingers. And I used the 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 tiles. So, and I quite, I quite like this one. It seems to work quite well. And it seems to be lasting quite well in the bottle. So I've used it quite a few times and I've still got plenty left. So I'm pretty happy with that product. So we'll see how I feel when I finish the whole bottle. But it might be one that I buy again. My OXX Studio face palette. So... The contour and the face powder I've been using in here. So I use the contour 5, 10, 15, 20, 23 times. And here's what it's looking like now. So it's this, this one here. So you can see compared to last time, I've had a bit more pan. And I, it, the pan would be a lot bigger if I was concentrating my brush here. But I don't want a big hole in it. And still have heaps up here because what I find is it starts to crumble and I don't want to be pressed. So I've been using my brush up here more. And because I've been using sort of the skinny brushes, I've sort of been going in here. So although there is pan here, I have been using it more up here because I want to use it more evenly. If that makes any sense. And the face powder, definitely a big lot of pan in there now. And I used that one 5, 10, 15, 20, 23 times. So I used them both the same amount of time. Now, eyeshadow. <laughs> yes, all right, we'll do this one first because this one will be very quick. My notes for, I used it zero of the times, so it's exactly the same. I've just been playing with other palettes too much. And my Beauty 101. I haven't used this very much, is eyeshadow, I've used it twice, <laughs> but I've been using the dark brown for my brows, which I've used 5, 10, 15, 20, 21 times for my brows, so I've been using this colour here for my brows, this one, and there's really no progress to report apart from, apart from that colour there. So I think it's very safe to say I won't be finishing either of those palettes by the end of December. It's been an interesting experiment, and I'm not sure what I'm going to do next year for project planning yet. So we'll we'll see. My designer brands, Vita Gold. I use one, and you can actually it's actually settled. It, it's, it was on an angle, so it's settled on a strange angle. So there's actually a lot more product in there than I thought. So that was interesting. Because, uh, as I said, I've been using the brush. But even with the stopper out, the brush only goes... Yeah, it doesn't go to the bottom, you see? So the brush only goes to there. Can you see that? I'm not sure how I'm supposed to get the product out. Maybe I should store it on its side. Maybe I'll have a chance of getting some product out there. Although, no, because you can't get the brush on the side either. So, I don't think it's very well designed. It's a bit frustrating because I would still use that product if I could get it out. My Maybelline colour tattoo. I didn't use it all. So it hasn't changed. I think it's pretty safe to say I won't be finishing this. I just haven't felt the need to want to use it because I've been using other stuff. And my mix factor mascara, I used 5, 10, 15, 20, 24 times. Um, it is still working, but there's really there's not that much left in it. So I can I can still get it on my lashes. But really there's very little product left in there. So I think it's it is pretty much done. <laughs> so I think I'm going to call this one done, and I will pull in, which I had on standby last month, but haven't cracked open. I'm going to open these ones and start using these ones. I actually enjoyed this one. I don't feel the need to go and buy a Max Factor um, mascara because to me the Max Factor is quite expensive in New Zealand, and um, 
but it, but I quite enjoyed it. it. It gives a nice separated look to the lashes I'm wearing it today. So yeah, it gives a good separated look to the lashes. Sorry. I quite like it, but I don't think I'll buy it again. My body shop early harvest raspberry body spray is was a here last month. And now is down to here. So I'm using pretty much the same amount each month. If you can see those marks. So I think I think I, I could just about finish this by the end of the month. By the end of December. My cake lipstick red is the end of here. So this one I wasn't thinking I was going to finish by the end of the project because I only put it in last month and there was plenty left and there's still plenty left but I have been using it. I've used it 5, 10, 15, 23 times and it was up to here last time so I have used where that second mark is. So I measured it like on the highest side and I measured it like this. So it was sitting on the bottom there so it's so I've used a little bit of it, even though I've used it 23 times. It's interesting how little you use, even with 23 uses. And my lip gloss, it fell over so it may not be settled anymore, but um, this was full when I put it in because I hadn't used it at all. And um, I just have been using it just before I put my um, foundation and everything on. So I put it on when I begin my makeup and then I take it off and put my lipstick on just to sort of moisturise my lips a bit. So this was full and I hadn't used it. So it was called, it's called a pale holographic lip gloss. This came in the subscription box that I didn't want. <laughs> so I thought oh, I may as well just use it up. And I used that 5, 10, 15 times and it is now done to there. So I have used it. And my Revolution powder in lace. I used 5, 10, 15, 20, 23 times and it's gone down a teeny tiny bit so it was up to here. Last I didn't even measure it because I couldn't see the difference and now it is up to here. So teeny tiny bit and you only use a little bit at a time. So this is going to last me forever so I won't be finishing this next month either and I don't mind that it's going to last forever because I actually really like this product so for me that's really good value for money. And that is my Team Project pan. So the only product I'm going to change out is the mascara and everything else I'm just going to roll through until the finish of the project and see where I'm at. So. How is your project pans going? Do you know what you're going to do next year for your project pans for eyeshadows and stuff? I've got a few ideas running around in my head, but I haven't committed to anything yet. I haven't really decided. So we will see next year what I decide. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.